Good evening, bookies. My name is Hannah, and today we're doing a 24 hour bookathon. So, I got this idea from Zoe over at Read by Zoe. She does 24 hour bookathons. She's done four at some point in time. But I've been watching up on them lately and I was like, that sounds kind of like a challenge but also kind of fun. So I decided to do that. I'm still wearing my work clothes. I just got off work and I realized tonight and tomorrow are the only time, that's the only time I'm ever going to be able to do this. So I am taking it while I've got it and we're going to do it tonight. It is only 8 o'clock so I still have a little bit of time to get ready. I'm going to start at midnight and end tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. or midnight. So before I actually start the whole readathon, I am going to actually get in more cozy clothes and shower and make sure I'm cozy for the rest of the night. But before I do that, I'm going to choose what I will be trying, hopefully, to read in the next 24 hours. So let's go. So I have selected four books that I hopefully, I want to get at least one done within the next 24 hours. But if I, I have four. I don't expect to finish all four, but I have four because maybe I won't get into one or maybe I'll want to switch between them. So it's kind of it's kind of out there right now. I don't quite know how this is all going to go down. So yeah. First book I have is ooh, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This has been on my shelf for a while and I'm going to try to read it tonight. Tomorrow, technically. I'm going to start tonight. Next I have Winter Song by S.J. Jones. I just recently bought this and I'm super excited to read it. So hopefully this is the one that I start maybe, but I do have one that I want to finish tonight. That is neither of these two. That was super complicated. Man. Then I have The Bear and the Nightingale, which is kind of a smaller book. Maybe I can read through this a little faster and then kind of, you know, feel a little accomplished that, hey, I finished a book in this amount of time. And finally I have Shadow of the Night by Deborah Harkness. This is a second book to her, um, a dark, not a darker shade of magic, um, Discovery of Witches, which I read last week and I loved, and I picked up the second one and decided I'm going to try to read all of this. I already started, but I'll just restart from the beginning. But I'm going to try to read all of this, 500 glorious pages of this, in 24 hours. So yeah, those are the four books I've got. Um, how this is kind of going to go down is... We start at midnight, as you guys probably guessed, and I'm going to read midnight to midnight. I'm not going to sleep. I might accidentally fall asleep. I've never done this before. But if I do fall asleep, it'll be between like probably like 7 a.m. and like 11 a.m. tomorrow because I'm pretty good at staying up late. It's the staying up later without taking a nap that gets me pretty hard. Um, I don't have any caffeine for this night, so wish me luck. I'm not a caffeine kind of person. But I will be trying to stay awake through like doing little things like maybe I'll go sit on the tile or maybe I'll drink a cold glass of water. I don't know. I'm just trying not to sleep and trying to get as much reading as I can. So hopefully I do. Um, I don't have any plans for tomorrow as far as I know but sometimes my older sister likes to just surprise let's go do something you know or something like that or maybe my mom wants me to do something. I have no idea. I have no idea. So yeah, wish me luck. I'm going to go get in the shower and get ready for this long night. So I will see you guys in four hours. Okay, so we have about four minutes before midnight and I'm going to start off tonight with Shot of the Night by Deborah Harkness. Hopefully I can get it done by at least, I don't know, I'm hoping at least by tomorrow morning if I read it fast enough. Um, I have my sticky notes for all the books in case, you know, I mark parts that are important or parts that I like or something like that. Um, I also downloaded my first audiobook, so tomorrow I can start cleaning my kitchen while also listening to an audiobook and trying to get as much reading as I can tomorrow. So, yeah. Okay. It is 12 o'clock. I am starting.
I've been reading for 40 minutes and I'm hungry. That lasts long. So honestly, it's a good thing I got up to get food because this camera's about to die and we're only 40 minutes in and I can't have you dying at the beginning of the 24 hour rethon. So I'll be right back over there in the chair with my bowl of cereal. And so yeah, just give me just one moment. So I'm back in my chair. We've lost the cat. We've got food and the camera charger and I went to the bathroom. So we're starting off fresh again. And it is 12.44, so I've been reading for about 45 minutes now. And we're already on page 28, which does not sound that amazing, but I don't know. Maybe I'm reading kind of slow today. So let's get back into it. It is 2 a.m. I am 76 pages into this book. Hi Charlie, what are you doing? And I am exhausted. I like, I usually stay up until 3.30 anyway, but like currently I am tired. And I'm over here trying not to like try to be tired, but getting cozy into this chair is not working. This book is taking longer to read than I originally thought it would. Like, I'm not saying that I was expecting to be halfway through with it by now, but I at least thought that since I'm reading, uh, that I've been reading for two hours, I thought at least I'd be more than a hundred pages in, but I'm still only at 76 pages. So it's kind of weird to be so, like, not even halfway, not even a quarter through it. But slowly, slowly I'll get there. See you guys at the next update. It is 15 minutes after 3 and I am on the floor because I'm too comfy in that chair and I am tired now, which is dumb. I wish I had caffeine. I don't drink caffeine, but I wish I had some kind of caffeine. Like I'm considering like digging through, <sighs> digging through to find some candy. I'm so sleepy and I'm usually awake until 4 and it's only 3.15. Um, I haven't gotten much farther in the book since the last update. I'm only on page 110, and it's not like the book is boring. It's just it's a lot slower moving than I would think that it was going to be. So, I have different music on, more music to kind of get it going, and then I'm on the floor, and if this doesn't work, then I'm going to drink a ton of cold water and just try to stay awake. I'm only three hours in and already, already I'm being stupid, so I will see you guys for the next update. Okay, I'm back with the next update. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. But I know that if I stay up for just like two and a half more hours, then I'll be good. Because in about two and a half hours, Amelia's gonna get up for work. She works at 7. And when she leaves for work, then I'll be awake. I just know it. I can sense it. So I'm just gonna keep reading. I'm not that far into the book, unfortunately. I don't know why. I'm only 140 pages into the book. I like it a lot. I'm really into this book, but I might switch it out for another book just to kind of get a little bit more, you know, read something a little different. But I think I'm just going to keep reading this for a little bit longer, probably until Amelia goes to work, and then I'll switch over. It's gotten too hot, and then it'll be too cold, so I've changed my outfit and put my hair up. But um, I've got this big cozy blanket behind me just in case I get cold but I'm trying not to get cozy I'm still on the floor but it's hard man I want to go to bed this is exactly as hard as I imagined it would be except a little harder 
I know it'll get harder around like 9 o'clock or like 8 o'clock and then I'll just be like, I have to go to sleep. But hopefully by then I can just get up and start cleaning. So, okay. I'll see you guys. Okay, it is, what do you say, 621? 22. Hey, no more. 622 in the morning. I still haven't slept. I'm so tired. <laughs> I've reached the point of hysteria. But Amelia's up now, so that's helping out a little bit. For work. She's getting up for work. I know, they already know you work at 7, so. You told them already earlier. Yeah, I did. Because <laughs> at like four o'clock I was like I just have to stay up for two and a half more hours and then Amelia will get up and that'll wake me up but I'm fine. tired I actually right. snoozed today I don't yeah, I, I never snooze, snooze. yeah I decided to do that today because I'm super tired and many you haven't slept mm -hmm. I'm slept and I'm tired meanwhile I'm on page 220 220 of shadow of night and I've been reading for six hours straight. I can't do that part. That's like nothing. I swear I can get two hours in an hour. <sighs> and I'm a slow reader. So I am switching books. I'm not doing Winter Song because I'm going to be doing that on the audiobook while I clean the kitchen. You're welcome, Millie. I'm going to clean the kitchen today. And so I'll probably do The Bear and the Nightingale just because it's kind of smaller. It's, watch, it's going to be like 220 pages. How weird would that be? It's not that much. What, you think it's less than no, that? No, it's more. Oh, 322 pages, actually. Whoa, really? Yeah. So you can finish that? Yeah, I could have finished About this. eight hours. Yeah, in eight, <laughs> eight hours. I think also what's weird is uh, what is making it slow for the other book is the letters are small. The type set is small compared to this one. They're used to slow reader them. Slow reader them. Across. I'm not that slow of a reader. Actually, I did the math. I'm reading about half a page per minute, which, yeah, that's, that's slow. Let's see. Don't nip at me. So I read 220 in eight hours? Six hours? Six hours. Okay, that's 36 pages per hour. Oh, Okay. 36 divided by 60 is... 0.6 of a page, so I was doing just a little over a page per minute. Half over. Oh uh, yeah, a little, what? 0. 0.6? It's half. 0. 6, just a little over half. What? That's pathetic. So I'm going to switch over to The Bear of the Nightingale. Um, I got a lot more of Shadow of the Night done than I was expecting to, so I'm kind of proud of that. This one's got the sequel sickness. But other than that, I kind of like it. Mm. So, yeah, I'm going to start The Bear and the Nightingale and keep up dating. And I'm probably going to do something to stay awake after Amelia leaves. I don't know what it'll be, though. So, yeah, I will see you guys probably in about two hours or so. Okay, so I'm leaving the house to take Amelia to work just to kind of help wake myself up for a minute. But I'm not going to stop reading. I'm taking the audiobook of Winter Song by S.J. Jones with me. And I will be listening to that. And I should be back in like, what, half an hour? Maybe? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll be listening to that. And then I'll come back and get, hopefully be more awake and get started with that. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, bookies, it is 7.26 in the morning. I haven't slept a single wink all night. I've been reading literally all night. I've been reading Shadow of the Night by Deborah Harkness. I've only got 220 pages into it when I really was thinking it would go faster. So I'm going to switch books to The Bear and the Nightingale. Um, 
I'm a little more awake than I was in the last update because I took Amelia to work with my mom and my mom gave me a Pepsi because she knows I've been up all night and so she gave me a Pepsi which legit probably saved this whole video and so now I'm a little bit more awake we have um, Sherlock with us now because you know someone's got to watch the dog while Amelia's away and um, so I'm gonna start the bear and the nightingale and then later on I'm thinking we'll, I'll clean the kitchen also while listening to winter song so I'm gonna try to switch between a couple books at the same time and yeah um so I'm gonna get started on that right now and I will see you guys in a couple hours So since this is my first time doing 24 hour readathon, I don't think I can make it through the rest of the day. So I am going to take just an hour nap. That's all I'm going to take, okay? Technically, there are no rules to this 24 hour readathon. Just, you know, you got to read as much as you can within 24 hours. That doesn't mean you have to read straight 24 hours and I think I've done really good considering I've been up nearly already 24 hours. Hey guys, future Hannah here. So I think because the reason I had such a hard time doing 24 hour thing is because I was awake from 11 o'clock that morning. So I was technically awake about, hmm, I was awake about 35 hours straight. So when I decided to take the nap, I literally was exhausted and I needed it. So if you are ever going to do a 24 hour readathon without sleep, make sure that you sleep like sleep in a little bit the day before so you don't crash the way I did yep that's all so I'm going to sleep for an hour and if I feel like it I might add another hour to the end of this readathon just so I kind of make up for it but I really don't think that I can continue reading and under and understanding what's going on what's what they're saying without taking a nap I am so tired that I'm just breezing through pages and then I'll sit here and be like, what are they even talking about? Like it's gotten to that point. So I'm taking a nap for an hour and I will update you guys in a, an hour, I guess. I started The Bear and the Nightingale and I'm actually really liking it, but like half the time I'm not understanding what they're saying just because my brain is off. And so yeah, back to what I'm doing. I'm taking an hour nap. And I know, I know Amelia's not going to be very happy about it because technically I'm cheating, but man, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So I will see you guys in an hour. Okay, bookies, it's 1032. I slept for two hours. That's an hour longer than I wanted to, but I feel much better, much more refreshed, and I immediately want to start reading The Bear and the Nightingale. So I'm going to hop into that, and then later I'll do Winter Song while I clean the house a little bit. So let's go. Okay, so it is... 12.37 and I'm super tired so I got down on the floor and I'm going to continue reading. I have my Pepsi so I'm going to be drinking that and hopefully using that to stay awake a little longer and yeah let's go. Time. Making me some waffles. Yes. So it is 4:06 p.m. on December 19th. I'm tired, but I'm still reading. I am 
not that far into the Bear and the Nightingale, unfortunately. I'm 114 pages in. And again, I'm going slower than I originally thought I would, but whatever. So, I'm going to continue reading The Bear and the Nightingale. I actually like it. It's really good at first. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any, there didn't seem to be any real plot at all. At first, when I remember reading it, I, I can't remember if there was a main character, or like what was going to go happen in it. But I figured it out and I'm actually really into it. I like it a lot. So I am eager to finish reading this. It's, I'm not even like, I'm probably a quarter of the way through. A little more. I'm probably almost, I'm about half. I'm going to be half pretty soon. So I'm going to finish reading this and then I'll probably move on to Winter Song or A Darker Shade of Magic. So see you guys in the next update. Okay. I'm going to start cleaning the kitchen while I'm making dinner and I'm going to be listening to Winter Song on audiobook so I can get some still going with the rating. I haven't stopped reading all day. It's driving me crazy, but I'm doing it. So, it is 6.30. I have five and a half more hours to go. I've been switching between books quite a bit. I haven't been reading Shadow of the Night since last night. Was it last night that I stopped? This morning. I haven't been reading that since this morning. Um, I've been kind of switching between Winter Song and the, ba the Bear and the Nightingale, which is really interesting. I'm really into it right now. But, like, I feel like I should have should be reading a little bit more than I am and I'm not so anyway I'm just going to get back into the Bear and the Nightingale and cozy on down Okay, so I finished the first book of the book thon, the readathon, and it was The Bear and the Nightingale. Finished it pretty slowly. I took a long time to finish this book. Um, I liked it. It was kind of, I don't know why, but I feel like it was slow at the beginning up until like a certain part, but I wasn't bored. So, I don't know. I loved it. I actually liked it a lot. I did not know that the second one was already out. Or from what I gather, I think it's already out. Okay, it is almost 11 o'clock so I have an hour left of this readathon and then uh, and then I get to go to bed but I'm going to go in my room and try to start and try to get a little bit further in winter song I've got the audiobook so I'll read along with it and yeah so I'll see you guys in there okay I don't know how great like amazing the lighting is gonna be but it is 10:59. Literally, it's going to change to 11 any second now. Okay, there we go. It's 11. I have one hour until the end of this book readathon thing, and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm so tired. So, yeah, I've got my audiobook, and I've got Winter Song right there. I'm going to read along with it. I've got my snacks over here, so I'm ready, and I will see you guys at midnight. I'm so glad this is finally almost over. <sighs> It is 12 o'clock. I'm done. <laughs> I did it. I'm finally done. I'm going to bed. I'm so tired. I will count up how many pages I read and do it all in like a recap tomorrow so I don't have to do it tonight. I'm going to bed. I am exhausted, but that was kind of a lot of fun. See you guys in tomorrow. Okay, bye. Okay, Bookies. So it's just a little less than a week since I did my readathon. It's been about five days ish and I realized that during the 24 hours re of reading I really didn't get that much reading done but now I have the number of pages I've read and I would like to share it with you guys. 
So the first book that I started reading the other night was Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness. I read 221 pages of this before I realized that maybe I was reading too slow and decided to pick up uh, The Bear and the Nightingale. And then I picked up The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. I actually finished this book and I read, I think this, pa this book is... This book is 312 pages, so I read 221 and then 312. And then the third book I picked up was Winter Song by S.J. Jones. This one's a little bit different because I was listening to an audiobook and then I went back to The Bear and the Nightingale and then the, the book readathon was over. So I don't quite remember what page I was on, but I decided to go with just page 20 because that's not like a ton, but that's not like, I know I read more than like five pages or ten pages. So I went with 20, but I, I read less than 50. So, you know, 20 seems like a good number for me. So, so in total on the night of the readathon, in the 24 hours I've read minus the two hours of the nap I took, I read 553 pages, which doesn't seem like a lot to me, but if we do the math, that's about 23 pages per hour. Or like 0.3, I did the math, 0.3 of a page Per minute, which isn't that much. I guess I was not reading. I'm not like a fast reader or as fast as a. I guess I'm not as fast of a reader as I thought I was, but my goal for the readathon was to get at least 500 pages read in the course of 24 hours, and I did it. I made it. Um, if you're thinking about doing a readathon and you've never done a readathon before, um, things I would suggest is definitely caffeine. I didn't have caffeine and it was one of the hardest nights of my life. It was so tough. Um, I would definitely not get comfy. A few times I got comfy and I was like almost falling asleep. And like for the third thing, I would make sure that you have enough time the next day where like at midnight you can fall asleep and continue to sleep as long as you need to. You don't have to get up to like eight or like seven to go to work. I had the next day off, so that's why I did it that night, because then I could sleep in and finally catch up on a little bit of sleep. All in all, um, this book, this readathon was actually a lot of fun. I will be doing it again, don't know when. I have to plan that out a little more than I actually have currently planned out. So yeah, I would definitely have an audiobook. I've never read an audiobook before. The only time I've tried is I read The Hunger Games back in like 10th grade or 11th grade and like I, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't do it. It was so weird to me. But when I started listening to Winter Song, I loved it and I'm still listening to the Winter Song audiobook and like I'll read along with it. But I just, I like it. I never knew I would like audiobooks. I'm kind of glad I'm finally opening myself up to different forms of, you know, literature. So yes, this is the end of the readathon. I'm so sorry it took so long for me to get this video out. I literally did not even want to do anything that had to do with the readathon for a while. That's why it's been five days and I haven't put up a video. And that's it for the readathon. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, God. Hey guys, I'm Emma at Books, and today me and my sister, who you are going to meet in just a few seconds, we are doing the siblings tag. So she is sitting behind the camera.